Hello friends, welcome to Alibook Design Engineering YouTube channel. Today is our lecture number 10, Upload Flow Analysis, our free course ETAP. In the previous lecture, that is lecture number 9, we have created the loading categories and the generating categories. In today's lecture, we will create different load flow case studies and the configuration. Before starting today's lecture, Please subscribe the channel, like the video, and the sh and share the video on your social media profiles. In today's lecture, we can create these load flow case studies. This is the load flow case study. The scenario first we will consider peak LFC in which the loading category is maximum, that is 90%, that is the peak load and generation category is 95 percent that is my minimum jv and the configuration is single out similarly in scenario second we consider normal lfc case load flow is steady and the load loading is normal and generation category is also normal and the configuration is also normal and in scenario third we will consider minimum lfc and loading category 20% and the generation category 105% that is maximum generation, peak generation and this will remain on loading category and the configuration will be normal. Let us go to the ETAP software. This is the example which we are studying from two three lectures. In this the configuration you can see here the only the by default configuration is normal configuration. First of all we will create single output configuration. In single output configuration, we can consider the circuit breaker 4 and circuit breaker 4 and 3 will be out of service and circuit breaker 5 and circuit breaker 6 will be in service. That, they, they, that means they should be closed when we consider a single output, LED and single output configuration and these two will be open. For that, we can click here. This is the no, I, can, I can show you this is the configuration manager you can click here and by default it is normal configuration and if you want to change it you can change it or if you want to create another configuration that is single out that we will create in here you can copy it and name the configuration as a single out configuration and click ok in the single output configuration we have considered that the circuit breaker 4 and 3rd will be open and it will be open and circuit breaker shift that is the circuit breaker this one and the 6th that is this one should be closed and get it ok now you can see the two configurations are here now one well, is normal that is the normal configuration you can see here circuit breaker 5 and circuit breaker 6 are open and circuit breaker 4 and circuit breaker 3 are closed now when we consider the single output configuration you can see here the circuit breaker 5 and circuit breaker 6 are now closed and circuit breaker 4 and circuit breaker 3 are Now we have created the configuration. Now we will create the load flow case studies. For that, we have to go to the load flow mode. In the load flow analysis mode, here is the init case study. This is a load flow case study. Init in load flow case study. You can click here. By default, the load flow case study is LF. And if you want to change it, you can change it. Or if you want to create another one, you can create by copying the same you can copy it and name the case study as a peak LFC and click OK in the peak LFC now peak LFC load flow case study has been created you can see the method usually here is adapter uh, adapter rational method this is the load flow study method is. one is adapter neutral uh, rational method neutral lapse method and fast decoupled method these you know, load flow analysis this load flow methods you have studied in one bit degree 
These are the other than one more things are here. We can use it in during my our say fusion lectures. In the peak, and let's see what is the loading. Loading is peak and generation is minimum. Minimum generation we have considered here. We can show you that in peak LFC, the loading is 90% that is peak load and generation is 95% that is the minimum generation. The configuration is single outlet. Uh, okay. Now we can create another that is uh, normal LFC. Uh, NFC and click OK. In the normal LFC, what is the loading category? Loading category is normal and generation category is also normal. And click OK. Now we can create the well, one more that is, we can create the uh, minimum LFC case study. Load flow case study, manual LFC, click OK. In this case, the loading category is minimum and generation is maximum and click OK. Now, we have created three load flow case studies. You can see all the three load flow case studies are here. Minimum LFC, normal LFC and peak LFC. Now, we can perform the load flow analysis of these load flow case studies one by one. First of all, we will go to the edit mode and see here we can, first of all, we can perform the peak LFC load flow case study, load flow analysis of peak load flow case study. For that, the configuration is single out. Yeah, we can see select the single outlet configuration, single out configuration and go to the load flow mode, analysis mode and here we can select the uh, peak LFC. I remember here you can select it there. This is the output report for that you should select it prompt because when you select the prompt and you perform the load flow analysis, it can ask you for the output file name. So we can perform the load flow analysis. Here you can see it is output file name is asking. We can name it as a scenario first P LFC and click OK. We can see here, no critical uh, alert is shown here, but according to me, it should show a critical alert. Why it is not showing any critical alert? Because we have considered here the tab setting. You can see, select the C here. If we uncheck the uh, tab setting, and click OK. Now we can go for the load flow analysis. You can see the bus third, five, and bus three and bus four are showing the critical alert. Okay, they are showing the critical alert. They are below the mm, uh, plus minus five standard deviation that is we are considered plus minus five percent. They are below their under voltage. You can check this alert here also. And what we will see here, you can check it also here. You can see here. You can see bus one, bus two, and bus three and bus four are under voltage or are under voltage condition. Okay. And now, if you want to, how to you can rectify it, and you can go for that and double click here and go for tab setting which we have already done and click OK and around the road flow analysis now you can see no critical alert is shown here and only two alerts are shown here one is bus one is in red color that means it is in critical alert condition and transformer is also in red color which is also in critical alert condition you can see also from alert view here Transfer one is overload and bus one is under voltage. Bus one is a utility bus. This is not in our control. This is under the control of utility grid. So we can ignore it. Now transfer one is in overload condition because this is due to the load is connected to the transformer. We can go in future lectures about the transfer size. At that time, I will clear you 
how you can perform that cross model size. Now we can go for another load flow analysis of a load flow case study. Now we can consider the normal configuration and we will consider the case study as a normal RFC. Further, we can go for load flow analysis mode and consider the normal NFC. And here you can consider the prompt and run. You can ask for you the output file name, you can name it scenario. Second, normal NFC and click OK. You can see here. All things are okay. There is nothing in alert view. Alert view display alert view. Here it is. Nothing is shown in the alert view. And click OK. Now we will go for the another one that is the minimum lapse load flow. For that the same configuration is normal. And we can consider the here minimum LFC and consider here prompt and go for this load to analysis or name this scenario third minimum LFC FC and click OK you can see here OK all are th three minimum alerts in the generation is one hundred five percent. No one alert. There is no alert view. We can see there is a new alert. We can see here. Uh, bus one is over voltage. Bus one. Uh, bus one is over voltage. This is under the grid control, and this is the utility grid, and this is not in our control. We can ignore. Now, if you want to show also the tab setting of the transformer here, if you want to show here the tab setting of the transformer also, for that you can double click the transformer and go to tab setting and click, oh no, you can go for the uh, edit load flow analysis and here this is considered the minimum NFC and you can keep the transformer and DC, you can now save to the normal NFC and take the transformer and DC I will show you can should be the side A plus and D C and click OK. Now you can go for the load flow analysis you can see here. Uh, the cross point time setting is 80.75% if you're displaying here. You can I can zoom it one minute. You can see cross point setting is 8.75% tab. Okay. Thank you.